Hey guys, the Cinnamon123 here with another Minecraft video. Um, today we are going to try and get to that nether fort. And uh, this is what I'm going in with. Full set of new uh, iron armor, an iron pick, iron sword, cobblestone, uh, wooden pickaxe. Uh, very, very little that I feel like I would risk losing that would hurt too bad. Um, part of this was that, uh, kind of, kind of have died many times trying to get to this fort, a fort in the past, um, you know, off camera and stuff. So what we're going to try and do is, ah, crap, they're already on me. Yeah, these ghasts, these ghasts, these guys, they're such bros. See if we can't do this. But um, the thing is that I've died a great many times on this uh, on this uh, journey in the past, and uh, I don't want to lose any more stuff that I care about. So now we are roughing it pretty good, and uh, I think it was this way. Yeah. Got a little pathway here, and there in the distance is what I'm going for. Ouch. Not that way, this way. Off in the distance there, see that little tiny little bit of stuff over there? That's what I need. Oh baby, you, you got what I need. But, um, yeah, basically I need this stuff in that fort. And so I'm choosing the most precarious way to get across. And, um, actually I was dying over and over, not due to, um, this really stupid way of getting across the, uh, lava sea here but uh, due to the fact that I had no clue where this thing was and I was so happy whenever um, I looked back on the previous footage and found right where it was. It's amazing how looking at the things you record in the past can give you a perfect map back to where you should be. This is quite a ways out there. I mean, well, we're almost there. Uh, the reason why I want to go here is because uh, I need soul sand, I need nether wart, because I want to not have to come out all the way over here every stinking time. I want to brew a potion, because that is the ultimate goal, is that I'll be brewing potions over here. And uh, boy, this thing has got some thick walls. I've never seen a nether fortress generate like this before. You know? I think I'll, what I'll do is I'll take my cobble and I'll jump up to the top here. And I'll of course have to break this later. Boy, this thing just keeps going. Alright, so now we're on top. Ah! So we could probably get in pretty easy somewhere. Oh, that scared me. But, uh, this seems like a really strangely generated fortress, though. A little, little worried about it. Because, uh, oh! Well, there's a, there is an inside. It just didn't look like it in the past. Alright, so, whoop, frames. Um see, so the pathway ends here. That actually wasn't too bad getting over. I thought I would ha be having a, a death montage going on. But, um, let's see. So I've got a stone sword. Yes. Alright. This is what we're here for. That is a big obstruction. Um, so what this is, is this is nether wart. And nether wart is used in I 
think every single good potion. And uh I like good potions because good potions are good. But I don't want to have to sit here and come here every single time that I want nether wart. Or nether wart. Uh, yeah, because it's it's going to be a pain after a while. That's not going to help at all, is it? But I also need to find a blaze spawner because uh, blaze powder or blaze rod. I need one, one stinking blaze rod to uh, start crafting some potions. I hear you. Where are you? Where are they? They are the cr oh, <laughs> zombie pig man scaring me. Um, but uh, you need one one stinking blaze rod to uh, make a, a brewing station or brewing stand. I think I can't remember which they're called. No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I should really slap one of those with the sword. Oh, frames again. There's a blaze. So that means in there is a spawner. I don't have any light source, so I can't really take that on. But we know where one is. At least. It's not too far from the entrance. Alright, yeah, so it's just over there. Up there. I think. Control zoom with the Optifine. Yeah, it looks like it. Just over there. There's a guy. What a guy. Yeah, I'm going to come back with some actual resources this time because the uh, main thing I wanted to do here at this point in time was just uh, grab some nether wart. Um, it would be really stupid to take on a blaze spawner right now because I don't have any resources on me. Any light sources, I mean. Um, but... Um, I'm going to come back and hopefully I won't die on this little run. Oh lovely the I'm a gonna stop running because I'm too hungry thing but yeah I just kinda wanted to check to make sure that this was where it was where the uh, fortress was because I had come here looking so hard for it in the past in the like off camera you know like the three days since in between I that I post videos I was looking so hard for this place and I just couldn't find it but now I know right where it is so I'm gonna make some sort of like pillar here so like I can be like hey dummy over here I'm gonna probably die from fall damage of all the things to die from in the nether fall damage I don't often die in the nether, but when I do, I die from fall damage. Uh, Alright, so... Oh yeah, I remember this place now. Yeah, dude, how did I get so lost before? Anyway, um, I'm going to come back with some light sources. So I will I guess I'll see you guys then. Holy cow, I threw an egg and five chickens popped out. Like, has that ever happened to anybody else before? I've got like this little little like mob farm here that I was working on, but like whenever I hit that egg that popped five chickens out, they all scattered everywhere. So now I've got just a mine full of chickens. Hey guys, yeah, lovely. Anyway, uh, let's uh, let's get back to me being in the net. Oh my goodness, I'm starving to death. Shh, shh. Don't die. Don't die. Alright guys, I'm back at the dangerous crossing again with uh, some light. I'm going to probably go kill a blaze and shut off that spawner because I don't want those guys messing with me all the time. And, uh, I think I'll actually just tunnel up through the side of this fortress make a staircase. be pretty safe because uh, I don't think that 
ghasts can bust nether fort stuff. So that'd be good. And uh, I'll be protected on one side, so if they hit me, I won't. Uh, I really need some light. That helped. Um, <laughs> I'm uh, going to be just knocked into the wall instead of into the lava. Hopefully. All right. So where's the where's the dangerous crossing? Because I know above da the dangerous crossing was a blaze spawner. So there's dangerous crossing, or the dangerous crossing. I kind of want to call that dangerous crossing, and I'll leave it like that too. A reason to skimp out on resources. I'm not being unsafe. I'm being aesthetic. All right. So. This building, on top of it, I think is a blaze spawner. Where are they? Ouch, ouch, ouch. Where are they? Oh, hi! Hi there. Bad. Where did you come from? I don't... That's not, that's not the answer to the question that I asked. That they didn't want us to be invited here. <laughs> Spoiler alert, there's an end to Minecraft. Yeah, pretty much. Spoiled the whole game for you, didn't I? Oh, lovely. This room again. Let's try and turn you off. Oop. Yeah, these things are pretty annoying. And watch this probably the mother load of of uh what's it called blazes up those stairs just out of reach sour grapes in case you guys don't know what uh what I meant there sour grapes is a reference to Aesop's fables and uh one of his fables he uh there's a fox wanted some was trying to get some grapes and uh he couldn't get them and so he just said well those grapes are sour anyway and they weren't they were delicious oh dear that's not the right button hmm i feel like there's probably a spawner on like a ceiling I'm just gonna miss entirely. I really, really, really want a uh, potion stand. See that? See that? I've got to come up on it quick, though. All right, here we go. Nope, gotta spawn. Shoot! Ah, die! Sword die. Oh dear. Where am I? There he is. Shoot, there they are. Ah. Uh, gotta kill one of you. Uh, man. These things are so difficult to take down. There! Oh my goodness. There is a man there. He wants to kill me. Oh my goodness. Come here. I'm friendly. Oh dear. They really you gotta really work to shut these things down, don't you? Ouch. I don't really know what to do. Uh I probably need a potion of fire resistance to take them down. Oh dear. Ah, these things are tough little buggers. I gotta get a blaze rod out of them. There, got it. I don't care about you anymore. Get away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Ha! Too far. <laughs> Alright, but we got what we were looking for. And there's someone... There's one around here, too. Near the entrance. But I can't find it. Oh, wow, those... Uh, there it is. 
It's going to spam torch. Ah, I'm out of torches. Got to run. But uh, I'll probably take those down in my spare time. And uh, I'll see what I can do. If I've still got time left on the video, I'll definitely show that. Alright guys, I think I got it pretty well done. I uh, shut it down. So uh, I think I'll make a spawner out of this sometime. But I also want to make sure and set up my uh, nether wart farm as well. So I think I'm going to run back across Dangerous Crossing. And uh, I'm going to start setting that up because nether wart, it's really annoying. It only grows in the nether, or while you're in the nether. should probably eat something. These mushroom stews, they really are pretty good food. Um, not only can you make them here in the nether, but uh, they're really, they keep you full for a long time. I'm really glad they added that type of feature to the game, where uh, food is keeps you full for different amounts of time for so like for example bread uh, here here I'm just gonna like cut off on a uh, minecraft science field trip so for example bread it has a low what's called saturation level meaning that it won't keep you full for very long and it also doesn't heal a lot of health, uh, a lot of food points. So it's not a very quality food. Now chicken, on the other hand, it uh, I think it heals the same amount of bread, but has a higher saturation level because it's meat. So like, if you guys have eaten meat before, you know that meat is more filling than bread, and so that means that your hunger bar is going to stay at the same level longer. See? Now like. Steak is heartier than uh, than chicken, and so it fills you for even longer. So that means that you can eat even less uh, beef to stay at the similar or same hunger level for longer. I went a totally roundabout way for that. But, um, so basically, you can eat less and stay full longer at the same hunger level. And mushroom stew, I think, has the highest saturation level. That might not be right. I think it might actually be golden apples. But, um, what that means is that whenever you eat mushroom stew you're getting the most bang for your buck so whenever you eat a little bit of mushroom stew you're going to heal four hunger points but you're going to stay at four uh, at the plus four hunger points for longer than if you had eaten like two pieces of bread or a spider two spider eyes I think heals one hunger. So, uh, <laughs> sorry about that little science sidetrack. Anyway, uh, what I've what I've gone ahead and done right now is I've made a little nether wart farm, and I'm probably going to run back and grab some more soul sand. And if somebody can post in the comments as to whether uh, soul sand spawns in places other than uh, what are they called? Fortresses? Uh, I really appreciate that because I don't want to have to go back to the fortress again if I don't have to. I've got a blaze rod sweet. Um, so that means that I can make a uh, brewing stand and I can start making some serious potions up in here. I guess I'll just cut it off there. So this was, this was kind of a boring video but I, I got some things done that I really wanted to get done. Oh no. Thank goodness that gas canceled this fireball. I have no way of... I would have no way of getting to my mob trap if you blew that up. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you don't mind taking a second to write and comment on it. And also check out my channel. 
That would be really, really cool. If you feel like it, I'd love it for if you would subscribe and stuff like that. Um, uh, this has been the Cineman123, signing off.